Hey guys, this is Sophie. Welcome to another video. Get yourself a drink, sit back, chill out. This is gonna be a really relaxed, chatty video. Some of you I know have sort of noticed, but um, I've sort of changed up my style a little bit. So it all really started like a couple of years ago. Those of you who've been me with me a while, I'm really sorry, you've heard this story so many times, but for those of you who are new, or maybe you didn't even know about this, I sort of need to explain it. I'm basically gonna show you a load of amazing clothes that are really cheap, and this is where I get most of my clothes from, so that's why I'm gonna talk about it. 2015, I'd been working at this particular job for five years. I was working for a marketing agency. My everyday uniform, whether it was a work day or the weekend, it was jeans, it was like a t-shirt or a shirt and a blazer jacket over the top. That's what I always wore because it was perfect for going into the office but it was also perfect if I decided I wanted to go out after work. Then what happened was I started working for myself from home and between 2015 and 2016 I put on a stone in weight and I know I've had loads of you from abroad saying what the hell is a stone? Don't ask, it's like a UK thing but it's about £14 which I think is over six kg. I put on this stone, none of my clothes fit. Like I swear to God, most of those videos that I was doing last year, I might have had the top on that you could see, but I was literally sat there in like leggings or my pajama trousers because my butt needed its own postcode. I did think to myself, should I buy clothes that fit my new size? And I thought, no, that is not the answer. You're gonna lose that weight. In the autumn last year, I, went on, it wasn't even a diet, I just went on a bit of a health kick. I was doing the MyFitnessPal app. I was just being more aware and more honest with myself about what I was putting into my mouth, but I basically lost a stone in weight and I lost it in three months. I don't wanna blow my own horn, but I'm literally feeling back to my old self and feeling good. And that was the point where I thought, I'm gonna get some new clothes. I have got items that I'm going to show you. I've got jackets, I've got a dress. I've been putting quite a few pictures up on my Instagram recently of like different looks, different different like outfits. And I've had so many of you asking where clothes are from. The theme for me of not spending money on clothes is still something that I stick to. If I can avoid it, I will. I think I have two expensive blazers in my life and they're both from Balmain and I only got them because I feel that they're classic enough that I'm gonna be able to wear them for like the next five years, but otherwise I wouldn't bother. You guys have got to check out a website called Shein. They are cheap, really, really cheap. They, I think they're based in China. So you do have to watch it with the sizing because sometimes you order a size and it turns up and it's completely irrelevant to the size you ordered. This is the first thing that I got. This was $36. It is a blazer. It's way too big. I need to send it back for another size, but let me just show you close up. I think you can see there, it's got like some like gold flecks through it. It feels like a wool material. It's sort of one of those blazers that's really good between the end of winter and the beginning of spring when it's still a little, little bit like chilly. It's quite warm. It's got faux fur on the sleeves and on the hem. When I saw this on the website, it was actually modeled with this dress, which I also got. Look at this dress. This has got, you can tie this in like a little bow at the neck and it's A-line cut. And I have realized that A-line cuts really suit me. I didn't realize that before and now I realize it. And by the way, I only realized that because I did that personal shopping experience last year. And for anyone who doesn't, like me, doesn't have a clue what looks good on them, do a personal shopping experience. It doesn't cost anything. They make their money out of what you buy and it's a really good way of someone who actually knows what they're doing, putting you in stuff that suits you. I thought that actually this jacket, even without the dress, this would look amazing in skinny jeans with the Stuart Wiseman boots, you know, the thigh high ones, $36. You really can't complain. That was the first thing. The next thing I wanted to show you, because I got loads of questions on this as well. I wore this two videos ago. Some of you may remember it. It sits just off the shoulder. So it's like a belted shirt. On the end of the sleeves are little bows. So the sleeves tie up and then you have got this belt that goes around the waist. I had loads of you asking about it. How much was this? I think this was, I could be really wrong, but I feel like this was $12. Don't get me wrong. Sometimes you get stuff through and you're like, uh, what the hell? Like, and you have to send it back. But for the most part, the stuff that I order from there, I'm like, actually, that's really nice. The other thing that I got was this. This is like a knitted jumper. On the sleeves, it's got little, these are like gross grain ribbons that you can tie in a bow or you could have them loose. I love the look of this. 
I've been wearing this recently with grey jeans and with um, black ankle boots. And then the final thing that I got, which again I'm going to talk about because loads of you on the Instagram post today were asking about it, but it is this. So it is a, what is it, like a necklace thing? And I've just been wearing this recently. I've got really into pearls recently. And I think it was because at Christmas when I got the Christian Dior earrings, I like... I don't know, I just like the timelessness of pearls, they're really nice. Okay, so that's clothes. I better move on and this video is gonna be way long. The next thing I'm gonna talk about is the Gucci belt and I need to mention Fiona McDonald, Goldberry one, and there's someone else so I'm gonna come on to in a second. Okay, so the Gucci belt, this is it here. This is the Marmont belt and I've had a few questions from you. First of all, O-A-Y-Y-Y-Y, you wanted to know whether I think you should get it in black or brown. Personally, it depends on what you wear, but I think black is just more classic. It goes with so many things. I've said it before, but I really do like a lot of the bags that Gucci are coming out with at the moment. But I can't bring myself to buy one of them only because if money was no object, I would. But I like to be more sensible when I spend that sort of money and I couldn't buy something and then find that in a few months time, and it's happened to me with Gucci before, in a few months time it's, it's just out of trend and I don't really want to use it anymore and I can't really sell it. Whereas I feel like if you want to get on the bandwagon, shoes, belts, SLGs are an easier way of buying into it without having to put a massive outlay. So that's why I bought this belt. This was about £390. You can get it in two different sizes. I think this is the bigger one. No, there's a much bigger one that's like 600 then there's this one, which is like a medium, and then there's a smaller one. Lots of you were asking me how I got it because I know it's been out of stock for ages. I initially wanted this for my birthday in November. I tried to get it in Harrods and you're right, it was sold out even as far back as November. Ended up putting in an online order for it on the Gucci website. It took between five and six weeks to turn up and there was a point in time where I didn't even think I was gonna get it until the new year. If you want this item, you've got the money and you're ready to go, I really just think place the order online because mine actually turned up a bit earlier than I was expecting. And then finally, Amy Nicola XO wanted to know the size of this belt. I've got it in the 85, is that centimeters? I think so. Other things to talk about. I have got a couple of cosmetic items before I move on to the good stuff. A couple of things that I've been trying recently and actually these, excuse the blue tack that's on there so that they stand up straight. These I've got on my face at the moment. I'm completely all over Rodal skincare. I have been using it since last summer. A couple of things I've been trying recently are they've got a new range of makeup and this is it. So I have got the, this is like a contour powder and then I also got the banana powder. The contour powders I think come in three different or maybe two different colors. What I like about it is whenever I do a contour, I don't want something that pulls too orange or too red. I've been using this and I really think it looks, it looks more natural than what I was using before. Before I was using Benefit Hula and sometimes when I saw myself after contouring it looked a little bit too warm this is really really good and it's buildable as well so can I oh my God, it's so subtle it's so subtle can you see that sort of really good and then I've been using this under my eyes this is the banana powder I've been using this to set my under eye really like both of them they're really good if you haven't tried them or you've been thinking of it if I had to recommend one, it would be the contour. If you're someone that contours anyway, then I really recommend that. That's a really good one. And I've got it in the color number three. I wanna talk about these. These are like the one and only thing I think I bought in the sale this year. These are from Netta Porter. They are from, I always have difficulty pronouncing this brand. These boots are from Lovan. It's an awkward word to say in English. Maybe I should just call it Lanvin. These are really good boots. I got these from Netta Porter. These were like, were they 40% off? I'm all about an ankle boot and I particularly like a, um, like more of a shoe boot. These are more comfortable than you'd know. And also, I love the color. I have really, really been into maroon colors. I feel like it just, it's a color that suits me like maroons and pale pinks. Although that heel looks massive, if you're accustomed to walking in heels, I don't think you'll find that too bad because there is just like a small platform on the inside. Personally, I find them really comfortable. So that is like fashion and clothing. Moving on to all of the mail you guys have sent me. And what I try and do now is I try and open it before the video. And the reason I do that is because not everyone wants their stuff read out 
on the internet. I also write back to everyone. It might take me a while, but I do write back to everyone. I got so many Christmas cards over Christmas and I was like, you guys are so sweet. This is the first card that I got. It's from Zenobia and Zenobia wrote me a really nice note. She actually lives in Las Vegas, I think you said. Yeah, Vegas. Thank you so much, Zenobia. I've already written back to you, so you should have something in the mail very soon. The next thing, and I was like, you painted this this lady i've spoken to before this is katia katia lives in the uk thank you so much katia i i think that on the day i got this i'd already written back to you so you might already have something this card is from candace so candace on youtube her username is it's only war paint and candace has been following me like really from the beginning and it's so weird because so many of you say to me you'll say things like oh i feel like i know you and i just want to say that that genuinely works both ways i have got those of you who comment on every single video you comment on every single like instagram post and you've got the same usernames and i also feel like i build up a profile with you now in here i thought this looks really interesting i got a parcel through and it came with a letter the envelope is like gold and the paper is pink some of you guys like your stationery is incredible this is the letter that i got from a lady in norway called marja i hope i've pronounced your name right you wrote me this letter and you also sent me what is in here what is it what is it oh my gosh i think i know what this is this is unreal this is a swarovski pen and i've just seen what it is because it's written on the back oh my word look it is a hello kitty can you see hello kitty on there swarovski pen oh my god i absolutely love it thank you so much oh my gosh and there's something else in here you've been so kind and generous to me you've included me a lip balm as well oh marsha i'm gonna use this pen like all the time thank you so much i'm so pleased i'm such a sad <laughs> oh i'm gonna put that there with my lip balm oh my word the next package is here i know who this is from see this is the thing like i we built oh my god oh my god oh my god oh my god this is from anna okay anna sent me something last summer and anna was living in the uk and then moved back to america oh, oh do you know what i'm saying does anyone else get me on this does anyone else get the hello kitty thing i know that i am like too old for this but I will never be able to get over it. I am obsessed. This is a, it's a fashion journal. What? Oh my God. Actually got a shake on. Look, it's got really nice pages on it. And on the back, it's got stickers. It's almost like you two, Anna and Marja collaborated. Cause look, Hello Kitty things that match. Thank you, Anna. Thank you so much. You've also sent me, hand cream look at this hand cream cherry blossom flavor oh please oh my god sephora can you believe it we don't have sephora in the uk look right i've got rose lip mask i've got a pearl eye mask i need this at the moment and i've got a avocado face mask so literally i've got the whole face sorted and the hands let me read what you've written did you take that photo oh my god look at that that is a beautiful card i know it's anna because she's just got perfect handwriting can you see that it's just perfect anna thank you so so much i really massively appreciate you taking the time and expense of sending me that thank you i love it all so much what's this made with pride in los angeles california habibi body look at this Mm, it smells nice face serum oh you know oh my god that smell that smells really good use half a pump or alone mix with your favorite moisturizer for a nourishing boost i'm literally obsessed with serums i use oils constantly this looks good oh my god that smells so nice what is in this persian saffron honeysuckle flowers i just want to see if there's a card in here the only thing in here is i can see on the front it's from shahada karim thank you so much shahada i'm gonna write back to you now we have one more item and then i've got a couple of postcards that, and this one's got really cute little stickers on it how cute is that i'm always incredibly grateful and incredibly humbled by the fact that 
any of you would take time and expense and thought to send me anything. Um, and I really genuinely mean that. I'm always... Oh, I feel really... Oh, look. Look, this is all things that have been sent for Miss Ralph. Look, Panica. What a kind person. Let me find who this is from. There's also in here little chew things and nibbles for the rabbits. Let me see who this is from. I need to give you guys an update, actually. I've deliberately not spoken about it because it's really upsetting, but um, let me just see who this is from. Just a wee thing for the bunnies. Take care, Jean, to Sophie and David. Mrs. Moose, I know you. I talked to you on Instagram. Thank you so much, Jean. Honestly, Jean, that is the kindest, that is the most kindest thing. Let me tell you why. Uh, also, it's sort of like upsetting. So this medication, Mrs. Moose, I need to update you on this as well because we were talking about this. At the end of November, out of nowhere, Ralph, one evening when we put her to bed, she suddenly was limping on one of her legs. I was worried sick. The very next day I took her straight to the vet and the very next day she was worse. And every day that went by, she got worse and worse to the point she's at now where her two legs on the back, she's like, she's just, they just drag along behind her. The vet at the time thought that it was a parasite and this is what kills that parasite. But what it turned out was she had an x-ray and she had a CAT scan and they have discovered that she has got a large cancer growing on her thyroid gland. She's never gonna get better. They said to us that if they operate, they're gonna have to break open her rib cage. And that's really depressing, but just so everyone knows, because I have had a few of you ask. She's not in any pain at the moment. She's still eating. She still loves having her head pats and she loves being cuddled. And the vet just said to us, keep an eye on her, like give her as much love as you can and eventually when the day comes when she's not loving life anymore you're gonna know about it she's not gonna want to eat anymore she's gonna be really depressed and that's the point where we're gonna have to think about putting her to sleep which is really crappy okay the next thing before i get upset this is a little christmas postcard that's come through from natasha you've written the loveliest message and you were wishing david and i a lovely christmas i don't think there's an address on here for you natasha if you're watching this and you sent me this card can you drop me an email because i always like to write back to people and now the final thing this looks interesting your paper's really nice this card is i think forgive me if i've pronounce this wrong. I think this is from Diana Hazlitt and Diana has written a really nice message. This is also about the rabbits and you're talking about um, using a chiropractor. Oh, you've actually gone to the trouble of finding some, like finding out the cost. Oh, you said this happened to your dog. Oh, and he turned, and he turned 13 years old in September 2016 this year. Thank you so much for your letter and it's absolutely beautiful stationery. Guys, I hope that this video has not been like way too long for you. I hope you've enjoyed it. Thank you so much for joining me.